The Cheese Car Chomp Mystery. Good throw. Hey, Loli. Hi, Loli. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Sally. Wanna go to the beach? You bet. Whoa. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Loli. Same time tomorrow? Sure thing, Mr. Frumble. A carrot car. <laughs> A corn cob car. <laughs> A donut car. Boy! Now, what flavor ice cream do you want? Cheese! <laughs> Watch out or it might bite you. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'm going to have to get it fixed. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye. Jumping Jarlsberg. What happened to the back seat? What's wrong, Mr. Mouse? Half of my car is missing. You're right. The whole back is gone. It was there when we parked. What could have happened to it? That sounds like... A mystery! Bug here on the Busy Town Beach Beat. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? Part of the Mouse family's cheese car is missing. We're going to find out what happened to it and solve this mystery. Ready for it? are solving Busy Town's cheesiest mystery. Goldbug out! Sally, your ice cream. Oh! Huck, do you think the cheese car could have melted like ice cream does? I don't think so, Sally. It's not hot enough outside to melt cheese. Right, Mr. Fox? Right you are, Huckle. Cheese only melts on a grill or in a hot oven. It's hot out here, but it sure isn't that hot. Thanks, Mr. Fox. So what do we do now? Look for clues? Good idea, Loli. Let's take a closer look at that cheese car. My ice cream is the best. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Dill pickle ice cream is the best. No, it isn't. Cream corn ice cream is the best. <laughs> well, we like it. Um, hey! Oh, that's nasty. Ugh. He ate my ice cream. <gasps> no, he didn't. He ate my ice cream. Oh. Hmm. That's it. The marks look the same. Huh? The bites you made in the ice cream cones look like the bite marks on the cheese car. Dr. Dent! 
Just... There it goes again. This car is driving me crazy. Can you please help us out, Dr. Dentist? Sure thing. Were these marks made by teeth? Well, let me have a look. Hmm. Ah. Yes. Yes, they were. So somebody ate the back of the cheese car. Somebody with very, very big teeth in a very, very big mouth. Uh, a big mouth and big teeth? That sounds like a monster. Uh, no, it doesn't. It sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> hmm. If the teeth are that big, then the mouth must be this big. Wow. That's a big mouth. A dinosaur mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sally. There aren't any dinosaurs. Not here or anywhere. It was just somebody with a very big mouth. So, if we find the big mouth, we'll know who took a bite out of the cheese car. You got it, Loli. Come on, let's go. Good luck. I got broccoli flavor. And I got onion flavor. Ew! Nobody's gonna sneak up and eat our cones this time! Heads up! Huh? Watch out! No! I am so sorry, boys. Please let me make it up to you and buy you another ice cream cone. Yay! Hi, Mr. Goat. Hello! Would you mind opening your mouth really wide, please? Sure, Sally. Nope. That's not the mouth we're looking for. Aww. Uh... Nope. It wasn't bananas. Chomp the cheese car? No. We measured everybody's mouth on the beach. And not one of them was this big. Then it was a dinosaur. I told you so. No, you didn't. I did. The only way it could have been a dinosaur is if the dinosaur skeleton at the museum suddenly came to life and took a bus to the beach. Mm. Yeah! A dinosaur skeleton? Oh! That's even scarier than a regular dinosaur! And it travels by bus! Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! I was just kidding! Dinosaur skeletons can't come to life! Are you sure about that? It nearly bit you. Hmm. Oh! Time for more ice cream! Again! Hmm. Dr. Dentist, may I ask you a question? Sure, Huckle. Were you parked along here earlier today? Why, yes, I was. And do you remember what car was parked in front of you? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yes, I remember. It was the Mouse family's cheese car. Why? Ah! Now I know the answer to the mystery! What's the scoop, Huckle? <laughs> uh, I think that's the scoop, Goldbug. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Tell us your news, Huckle. Who chomped the cheese car? Well, Goldbug, here's how we figured it out. We know 
list the big teeth marks on the mouse family's cheese car. So we measured everyone's mouth on the beach, but we couldn't find any mouth large enough to make those bite marks. Then I remembered the hood of Dr. Dentist's car has been popping open all day. So I think it was Dr. Dentist's car. His car? It's the right size. And here's the cheese from the cheese car. You're right, Hucko. You solved the mystery. Everybody all together solved the mystery with Hucko. You can solve one, two. That's all. Who's that guy that rescued you? I don't know. It all happened so fast. All I know is, he's my hero. And I want to thank him. Gee. How'd he disappear so fast? Busy Town Action Bug News! Gold Bug here for Busy Town Action News. I'm reporting live from the railway crossing where, just moments ago, our hero saved the day! Huckle, what can you tell our viewers? Well, we were waiting for the train to go by when Granny Goat got her cane stuck in the tracks. Then this guy came out of nowhere and pulled her to safety. Just in the nick of time. Wow! That's what I call bravery. Who was this hero? We don't know. He left before we could talk to him. And before I could say thank you. So you're telling me the identity of this busy town hero is... A mystery! That's right. But it's a mystery that we are going to solve. Right, team? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, Say how? Who, what, why, how? Huckle and his team are going to solve the Railway Hero Mystery. Stay tuned as we continue to track this exciting story. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. First, we need to remember what Granny Goat's hero looked like. Too bad we didn't have a camera with us. That way we could have taken his picture. Hmm. Maybe there's another way to get his picture, Hilda. What are those for? Well, we all saw the railway crossing hero, right? Right. So we should be able to work together and draw a picture of what he looks like. I'll go first. <laughs> Good start, Loli. 
he was smiling, so at least we know it wasn't grumpy old Mr. Gronkle. Sally, what did you notice about the hero? Well, hmm, I remember he was wearing a safety vest, but I forget what color it was. I know, it was orange. Oh, with a big white X on it. And he was wearing coveralls under the vest. Good. What color were they? Uh... <gasps> green! Oh, oh, oh. He had a hat on his head, too. Yeah, I'm sure of it. A yellow one. Like that one, Loli? No, it was a hard hat. And it had a light on it. Like... And I remember seeing that he wore a tool belt with a wrench on it. A big wrench. Oh, yes, that's him. That's my hero. But there was something else about his face that was different. A mustache? Um, no, not a mustache. A beard? No, I think it was something about his eyes. I remember what it was. He was wearing glasses. Safety glasses. Yes, yes. That's right, Sally. Yep, that's him. Perfect. All right, then. Now that we know what he looks like, we just need to find him. And when you do, I'll have a big cake ready for a celebration. A big hero cake. A big hero cake? Oh, yum! What's he look like? I'll find him. No, you won't. I'll find him. <laughs> okay, Pig Will and Pig Won't. We have to work together. I'll find him first. No, I will. Together. Well, where do we start looking, Hucko? Well, he was wearing a safety vest, coveralls, and a hard hat. I say he must be some kind of a worker. Maybe he's a construction worker. Or maybe a road worker. There are lots of different kinds of workers he could be. We need to find a worker who matches our picture. Hey, there's an orange vest with a white X on it. Maybe our hero was that crossing guard. I don't think so, Loli. The crossing guard has an orange vest, but he isn't wearing a yellow hard hat or green coveralls. Oh, yeah. Come on, we need to go look for some more workers. Those workers have orange vests and yellow hard hats. Maybe one of them is the hero we're looking for. No, it isn't one of them. How do you know? Look, they have blue coveralls. We're looking for someone with green coveralls, remember? Oh, yeah, right. And the hero is wearing safety glasses. But those workers aren't. Let's keep looking. Look! They have green coveralls and orange vests, and they're wearing safety glasses. Maybe one of them is our hero. Nope. It's not one of them either, Sally. Are you sure? Look on their heads. They aren't wearing hard hats. Oh, yeah. It's lucky we have that drawing. Yeah, we'd never be able to remember all this on our own. Look! He's wearing an orange safety vest and green coveralls. And safety glasses and a hard hat, just like our picture. He must be our hero. I don't think so, Hilda. Huh? Why not? Look at the hard hat. Our hero had a light on his hat. This worker doesn't. <sighs> now what? Let's go back to the railway crossing. Maybe we'll find another clue there. Huh. You know, there's one clue on our picture that I just can't figure out. What is it, Huckle? Why would a worker need a light on his hat in the middle of the day? I wish I had a light on my hat when I go into my closet to find a sock. It can get pretty dark in there. <gasps> Loli, 
You've given me an idea. Huh? You think the mystery hero works in a closet? No, but maybe he works somewhere else where it's dark during the day. Of course, it's dark underground. That's where our mystery hero works. Excuse me. Is anyone down there? Did someone call me? That's him. <gasps> What'd I do? You're the one who rescued Granny Goat from the train tracks, aren't you? Well, I did help someone get their cane unstuck over there. When a train was coming? That's right! We've been looking for you! You're the hero! Goldbug here with an exciting news update. Huckle and his team have found the hero and solved the Railway Hero Mystery! Huckle, how did you figure it out? Well, Goldbug, here's how it happened. We worked together to make a picture of the hero. Then we searched Busy Town for workers wearing the same items as our hero. The light on his hard hat was the clue that led us to the underground pipe fitter. He's our hero! Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Nice try, guys. But we already found the hero. The real hero. Hello there. Nice outfit, young fella. So, is the hero cake all gone? My hero! Yay! 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 Does anyone have a spoon? 